so yeah so <laughs> i hope you know your formula from yesterday so this is assignment number 81 uh, do you, you have it right? I gave it to you yesterday. Yeah, yeah. So um, the questions I wanted to go over were, I, we can do as many as you'd like. I, I, if we want to get like a true sampling, then we'll need to do actually two, at least two, maybe three. So I, I don't really know. I do have another assignment, like I said, after this that I don't intend for us to have to get done today, but uh, we can do as much of this as you feel like we need to. Um, so let's start with, today is the 18th. Today's 518.22. Let's start with problem number one. And so we have this quadratic equation. We have 8n squared uh, minus 21 equals zero. So would the B be zero? It would. And that's definitely why I wanted to go over this. If I had my lesson from yesterday to do over again, which again is why I'm recording now, um, I would have included it in an example like this. So when you're missing your middle term, When you're missing your middle term, then exactly what Alyssa said, that's spot on. We need to think in terms of this equation is actually not what you see. We need to leave a little bit of room here and in the center put plus zero n. Um, you don't have to write it, but as long as you in your mind are in agreement that, ah, yeah, there is a term there, it's just got a zero with it. So having said that, it, it really kind of changes how the quadratic formula functions. Um, so what's A? What's B? There you go. And what's C? Good. Um, can anyone without looking down at their notebook recite the quadratic formula while maintaining eye contact with me? Go. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Coop. Nope, you're out. Go, Sasha. Your turn. Yeah, that's good. And uh, yeah, no judgment from this guy. You know, you just learned it 24 hours ago. And by the end of today, you making little mistakes it won't happen anymore because today you really use it all the time and it'll get stuck but um great job good team effort on that everybody so remember we're going to say here we go we're going in n equals and you don't always write x equals remember we in this case write n equals because our quadratic is in terms of n so we write n equals the opposite of b what's the opposite of zero zero which is why i wanted to go over this with you because you don't even have to put it there if you do it'll just confuse you so in a quadratic like this where it's missing its center it's b don't put anything for the negative b so all we do is we just start with okay i'm going in plus or minus the square root of this is a very unique sort of feeling situation here and then where it says b squared what's zero squared and again, I implore you, don't put zeros where they're just going to get in the way and make you confused. So instead of putting zero minus four blank blank, heck with that, nobody got time for that. Let's just put negative four blank blank, right? We don't, we don't need zeros. And then on the bottom, we do two times A, which is, of course, 16. Now, remember, Sasha gave it to us. The quadratic formula inside has B squared minus four AC. So in the first blank, I'll put eight. And in the second blank, I'll put negative 21. So a little bit of basic math here leads me down the road, the conclusion that a negative times a negative, at some point they're going to meet and make a positive. So the, what I'm really working with inside is four times eight, which is 32 and 32 times 21, which I, thank you. So what it cleans up to be now is plus uh, the positive or negative of the square root of 672, you said? all divided by 16. Now, I'm glad we're doing this together because I don't ever envy anyone that has this task. And I've never done this problem before. I mean, I know the answer, but um, let's work this together. This is a big square root sign. And it, there's nothing wrong with taking baby steps. And like, I never use that term like condescendingly, like baby steps is, that's fine. Like when we reduce a fraction, what's the harm in dividing 
by two and then by two and then by three. Who cares? You get there eventually. So here's something I know, because I know a trick. Um, when the last two numbers in a long number can be divided by four, 72 can be divided by four, then I know that the whole number can be divided by four. So if you want to, you could be more efficient than me and you could start going good. So, you, But if you wanted to, you could go in a different route. I'm just gonna take the baby step route. So I'm gonna take the square root of 168 times the square root of four. And I generally don't condone shenanigans like this, but it's okay, we're gonna get there. So what I have right now is two times the square root of 168. But I'm gonna use my same trick again. I'm just chipping away at the stone here. I'm gonna take, and I know that 68 again can be divided by four. Therefore, by definition, the whole number can be divided by four. So I'm now gonna write this as two times the square root of four times the square root of 42. Just chipping it down, man, chipping it down. And then the square root of four is two, and that jailbreak of two multiplies by the previously jailbroken two. Two times two makes four, and we arrive at this conclusion. Was it the most efficient route? I don't even really care, but I got there. So what I now know is that the square root of 672 in its fully broken down form is four times the square root of 42. Do you guys have any issues with that? So now I'm going to inject that back into the problem, just like we did yesterday. This is always like a detour we take, and then I'm gonna put it back up in there and it's gonna be positive or negative of four root 42, all divided by 16. Now, you can, and, and there is the triangle idea isn't really so much appropriate here because the third number in the triangle would be a zero. So it would be kind of creepy to draw a Dorito in this case. So what I do, I think Cooper said this, is just take these two numbers, follow this arrow and divide them by whatever you can, right? Leave the 42 out of it, right? And so we wind up with a final answer of N equals positive or negative root 42 over four. Can you? Why did I stop at four root 42? Because you can't break it down anymore. If you run through your list of, I should have said that at the time, I apologize. If you run through your list of factors of 42, they are three times 14, fail. Uh, two times 21, fail. Six times seven, fail. So there are no more roads to be traveled with 42. So that's it. Does that make sense? So when you have a B that's a zero, there are other methods for solving this that I'll show you, may, probably not this year, but there are other ways to do those particular types. Algebra two, you'll see that right away. Start of the year, we'll hit that, okay? So let's pick another one. Let's do, um, I'm gonna do three with you. Um, I'll let you, and I'm not gonna let you pick. Let's do problem number four. <clears throat> what do we do first? Yeah, you got to set it all to one side first. So it's easy to jump right in, but don't forget the beginning. So 7v squared plus 4v minus 4. And now we can proceed with a, b, and c. What's a? What's b? What's c? Nice. Uh, anyone else ready? Sasha already passed the test once. Anyone ready to get back in and recite the formula? Go ahead, pass her. Um, nope, I don't need numbers, just the quadratic formula. Oh, okay. Uh, the opposite of B mm -hmm. plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. All right, good job. We're getting there. Well done. Um, well played. So we're going to say V equals, we always start our quadratic formula with whatever variable we're working with. So V equals, what am I going to write first? A, negative, it's A, not A, negative 4. The opposite of B is negative 4. We're on problem 4, Kinsley, yeah, I know. right? Okay. And so we have negative 4 plus or minus a big long square root sign. Make that thing longer than you probably think you need to. And what goes first in there? Um, B squared is 16. And as I said yesterday, and I'll never change my mind, I will always write minus four blank blank. 
I will come back later. And then I go over two times A, which is what? Nice. And then I retrofill my AC slots and A gives a seven and C is a negative four. And for your educational convenience, I'm going to turn a couple of things blue on the TV because I really want you to look at those blue things. Those are important, huh? What do they mean? Yeah, the whole darn thing's gonna turn in just a one big positive plus problem, right? So really what this boils down to now is inside of the square root here, I'm really just doing 16 plus four times seven times four. All minuses and negatives have been accounted for. <clears throat> so with a little help from our calculators, we do four times seven is 28, 28 times four is 112, 116 or 16 plus 112 is 128. So we wind up with a nice cleaned up version of the quadratic formula, negative four plus or minus the square root of 128. Just you get here. Usually this is just what it looks like. And now we have to look at the square root of 128. And this one I'm going to attack a little differently because I consider the number 128 to be far less wonky and awkward than that last one. Something really big that goes into 128 should be screaming at you, 64 times two. Good. So this one, I'm not going to go monkey around and take baby steps. I'm, I'm going in. So I'm going to think of the square root of 128 as the square root of 64 times the square root of 2, which is, of course, 8 root 2. And then I'm going to re-inject that. So my current working version of my answer is negative 4 plus or minus 8 root 2 all over 14. And this is where Luke's Dorito of death and destruction comes into play because there are now numbers that I want to look at. What can all three numbers be divided by? Two. two is the best we're going to do. So if I knock them all down by a factor of two, just a friendly reminder, you leave that root out of it. All right. So we say V equals what? Negative two root two plus or minus four, four root over, over, over seven. seven. Four root two over seven. The root just sticks around. Once you simplify him, he's gonna stick around like a bad cold. But all the other, the numbers that are out in the open, they're the ones that we're tinkering with, but not the root, right? And then I'd like to do, I guess, uh, well, do you wanna do any more together or you want me just to shut up? You wanna just go? I can, I'll just step out of the way. I'll let you guys work. Um, when you get done with this, let me know. And there's assignment 82 waiting in the wings. Is that, oh, did I go too far? How's that? Do you want to talk about anything up here?